I thought it would be nice to make a guide video on how to use the cell files within RSL Helper. Nubkex actually came out with a video. He does link everything down below. So if you go to his Discord, uh, you'll get sent directly to his um, page right here to this channel and you can get the files from here. And if you don't know where to get the RSL helper, all you have to do is go to Farbstoff's um, Discord server and you can scroll all the way down here to the English section for you Anglophones and you click RSL helper version five and you could actually probably even just check the pinned comments. Just click this link right here, download the file that way. The download the, not the file, but the, uh, the program to download RSL Helper. But okay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Thank you, everybody um, who contributes to the community. Thank you, Nubkex, for sharing this. Thank you, Panda, for making a file along with a guide and everything because it takes a long time to create those rules and everything. And we'll go into that in a minute. And then thank you, Farbstaff. Thank you for almost 1,200 subs. The app is going to look like this. You just click RSL Helper. Okay, and then once you open up the file, you're going to see that it starts out blank. What you need to do is run something in raid. So let me actually move this aside so you can see both of them at the same time. So run something in raid. You could just go ahead and, and do like an arena battle. Doesn't have to be any specific thing. Uh, arena battles will do fine. A campaign farm will do fine just as well. But basically you need to connect your account. So um, connect it here, let it load into RSL helper. And now it's reading my account and you're going to click sell. So open it up right here and then you sell. And then you go to this section right here, the one with the multiple dots. This is going to be your inventory index. There's artifacts and then there's accessories. We're gonna start off with doing artifacts. So when you are downloading these files, there are two different files that you're going to see. There's going to be uh, all Dungeons Forge version 2. Point, or version 2.5 and early end game All Dungeons Forge. This is the first one that you see, and this one right here is going to be the second one. It says March 11, 2024, fixed. I, I don't really know what the difference is. I'm assuming this is the more up-to-date file, but for some reason they're both listed out here. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to run this one right here, so we're going we're gonna to forget about this one because this one says fixed. All right, so once you get this file, what you're going to do is click Load Setup right here. And then you're going to look for that file, which is this right here, all dungeons fixed. And it's going to load in the presets. All of this right here are basically like a thousand codes written by Panda. And it's going to say, okay, well, if this particular piece of gear that you have meets these specific conditions, you're either going to keep or sell. Got the file. We loaded the file into RSL helper. And what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we're in the inventory. You have to be in the inventory settings over here. You got to make sure you click sell. You're going to click auto sell check here on the left. Now, once you're done loading it up, you're going to go ahead and close the cell settings and you're going to see all of this gear that might need to be sold. This is going to run the data file and balance it against the gear that's in your game. Then you're going to click add all to queue and you're going to click add selected to the cell list and you're going to see here the rsl helper is going to start putting in according to the conditions set by the data file um things to sell and you're going to see all this gear right here um things that it doesn't deem or i guess the well, like nubkek says the author of the data file if he doesn't deem it worthy to keep to roll up or even try out depending on the specific set. Uh, and again, this is all end game. It's gonna sell it automatically. Now, again, this is for end game players. This is not for beginners or even mid game players or even late game players. End game players are on a different level with different uh, levels of gear, especially if you've been playing for a really long time like I have. There is some stipulation personally to this i would still check the gear i would still check the gear to make sure that it is something that i want to sell because if it is um selling something that i don't think it should be that should be sold then i might want to stop that remove it make sure i check it off and don't have it sold the reason why this is so great is because it it it's a huge quality of life update i spent before i knew about this file this morning I spent last night 
I'd say like two, three hours sorting through my gear. My gear was almost capped out, by the way. This 729 that you see was what I did one by one last night, falling asleep in bed next to my wife, whom I love. Um, like, I was doing everything one by one. And I even went so far as to be like, okay, well, you know, my gear keeps capping out. I have a lot of good gear. I've got some great gear. But I don't even want good gear anymore. I need great gear. I need the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme. As of right now, 125 pieces of gear are worth being, and it's still going up. Hopefully it doesn't sell every single piece of gear that I have, because that's uh, looking like what, what's about to happen here. Why are we still going up? Come on, not all of my gear can be that bad. So what I like to do, especially during free re-gear events or free gear removal, is like the zero cost silver to remove and move gear around. I also like to in click include equipped items here because you can get rid of items that you're not using anymore for free. You don't have to pay to take them off. Okay, so it finally stopped at 235 pieces of gear that are considered absolute crap. But look at this. It's a lot of a lot of gear. Although relentless gear is something that we naturally accumulate over the long period, like a lot of. You know, I'm a little more lenient with with a relentless gear. Good to know that all of my savage gear is considered end game by Panda. That's good. I'm big on savage gear. Cruel, immortal, that stuff that we get on our this one? Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, that's up to you, right? If you see something in there that you feel that shouldn't be sold, then go ahead and keep it. But then again, that's also like you saying, hey, I know more than Panda. I sure as hell don't. And there goes my Slayer gear. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell it and trust it. Bear with me here. I'm curious. I'm, I'm super curious about um, my including my equipped gear. So let's auto sell. Check that and bounce that against what I have in here as well. Let's click equipped and let's click add to sell. I also just checked the items that were already equipped on champions because it is a free re-gear event and I might as well sell gear that isn't exactly great. Now there are champions here like my man eaters and my my um, seeker who have gear on them. They're meant for set for um, they're meant for clan boss. I'm not going to touch them. So we're going to click that off. Make sure we don't sell those. Arbiter can stay because she's my um fastest champion for arena cupidus could stay because i already have him built out he's already helping me one key uh nightmare hydra for champions that i'm not really using like helicath or yannicka i'm fine with taking gear off them and selling and you know later on I, I can rebuild them if i actually need them for something deacon same thing skull crown i could always rebuild really easily same thing with um Eric's. If you check right here, a lot of people have been asking about uh, ghost items. So showing gear that you don't have, for an example, if you just check the pinned comments, you can actually see a lot of updates about similar problems everybody's having. They are aware of the ghosting issue with the inventory, or if there's some issue happening where like uh, it's just not loading up gear in the RSL helper. Um, it's, it's currently ongoing. It's not something easy to do. It's not something that they can just do right away, but one of the things that they talked about was closing the raid and the helper, deleting the temp files and the installation folders, as well as the DB files in uh, the config, as well as clearing cache in Polarium Play and doing some runs in raid while the RSL helper is loaded up. Go to your PC, go to your program files, and you can go ahead and look for RSL helper folder and just delete the files that they said to do in the pin messages. So let's look for the temp files here, delete all of that. And as you can see, no more ghost issues with my artifacts. So it looks like deleting the temp files actually worked. I also had some issues with gear not showing up at all. I checked their discord on Farbstoff's discord and in the pinned comments, one of the things that was mentioned was resetting the cache. So if you go to Polarium Play and you click reset cache here, you can, uh, it'll log you out but you can clear the cache. I don't know what that even means, but uh, clearing the cache seemed to help. And I was able to reload everything and now my gear is showing up. And then same deal as last time when it's finally finished, you can go ahead and click sell. And it's going to take a while to sell everything. All right, so out of my equipped gear, I'm going to go ahead and sell 169 of it. Things that were on champions that I had already built, but I have no problem spending the time rebuilding them with the end game gear that's left over. Um, another reason I said to make sure you're checking things is because impulse gear 
Uh, there was impulse gear here that was sold, and there is a mission. There's a Marius mission coming up that's going to ask me to put some impulse gear. I, I think there is uh, impulse gear. I'm pretty sure it was impulse gear. It might, it might have been zeal on somebody, and all that's gone. So now I have to go farm Live Arena for the gear. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just sell it. Um, you know, some key things to look out for if you're going to do this is, you know, do this cautiously. This might not be the best thing for me to do. But again, I have no problem re-gearing everybody. Like, I know my account. I know how to build specific comps because I've done videos on them. Uh, except for Godseeker and Eerie, uh, I didn't want to mess with her because getting her the stats that she needs to be able to farm the Sand Devil is a little bit hard. 494 pieces of gear under 500 from here, what you can do is start rolling pieces of gear up. Depending on how it rolls, I will decide if I want to keep it or not. But anyway, uh, yeah, so let's say we want to go ahead and do the same thing for our accessories. First, we need to go over here and click the accessories tab. And you want to go ahead and click sell. Then you come over here to the RSL helper, click accessories. And we're going to go ahead and include equipped items for this run. Make sure auto sell is checked off and you have the file put in. I changed it to uh, sell all of that. I changed the name of it. Then we just click add all to queue and we let it do its thing. So off the bat, there are eight things, 15 things that we got to get rid of. When it's finally finished, you can go ahead and click sell. And it's going to take a while to sell everything. Then you can also set this up to um, auto sell for you if you're in the forge. So what you can do is go right here to the forge. Let's do resilience and let's set this. You could set it to like, I don't know, let's do 20 for an example. And as long as you have the uh, cell settings up, so we have the cell settings set up here and then you click auto sell. So it's gonna say auto forge. You click auto forge, you click auto sell, press play and it'll automatically, and it's gonna go through the entire 20 selling everything. It's pretty cool. You can see right here what's being sold and what's being kept and all the things here. And then you can actually use this same sell file to farm the dungeons where it will automatically sell artifacts with you in conjunction with the settings from the sell file. So we can click play here. And if you need to stop something in the middle, you can click stop right here. But this cog is turning. So you press play and the entire run is going to run. And then we just um, go through the dungeons as normal. And the nice thing about this is once this is done, if you want it to, it'll just keep running and running and running and it won't stop. You don't actually need the multi battles or an auto clicker. You can just have this do it for you and it'll restart the entire entire thing. I'm still working on getting this team to be perfect. Uh, sometimes these guys aren't dying when I need them to die. Like I ideally I would have everybody but Theodore die here, but everybody's just staying alive too long and now you see that it's automatically selling it for you let's say you don't have a pc and you want to find out how i manage my gear how i sell my gear how do how do i do gear cleanses check out this video right here